Hey everybody, we're going to do a strength based deck. This deck is great against weather, uh, but it's weak against super high tempo decks like Calvay, which is common in the meta. So I'm seeing this deck less and less often, or variations of this deck less and less often. Um, but I still think it is a strong archetype in certain circumstances. And I really hope that in the next patch, we see a little bit more Skellige and more variety in our Skelligas. So, first off, we have our Savage Bears. These are usually your first play. They allow you to activate the Clan Dramoon's Shield Maidens because they wound your opponent's enemy, giving your Shield Maidens something wounded to damage and summon the rest of them out. After that, you have the Clan Brokevart Hunters. These are very useful against weather because they get buffed every time an adjacent unit gets weakened. So if you're in Frost, they don't lose any strength and you can kind of save, stave off the effect of Frost for a longer period of time when this card's on the board. You have Cleaver and Donoran Hindar to protect yourself from Shackles, which will be played on Olgirt and Morpark, usually from Ox. Ox is your worst nightmare, and because Calve is common, you're gonna run into it a lot. So I'm seeing a lot of uh, Skellige decks run both of these. They're also good against Dwarf uh, Scoia'tael, which will try to have a lot of Dwarves on the field with Resilience, and you can remove the Resilience with these cards. We have our Regis Higher Vampire, which I only play against uh, Spell Squadotel. I would replace it with Siri right now. Siri is really good. Uh, Wild Boar of the Sea, you can use to keep buffing up your Morkvark and Old Geart for next round. You can play Triss Marigold to kill off the um, Lord of Undvik. Uh, that's why these two cards are together. We have our Priestess of Freya. You usually want to use these to revive either the Clan Morkvark Hunter or the Savage Bear. You have Holgar Blackhand, which will combo with Hjalmar. Following up, we have Stamlin Forest Tremors. This is good 16 points value uh, that you can use against your opponent. Now, another silver card you can put in here instead of Cleaver is Ulderic. That's just, uh, for more card advantage since you do have a Scorch to immediately counter that. Azure's Thunder is just another way to activate Hjalmar, and it just gives you more options when you want to remove something very important, like a Nithral. First Light for the Weather. I think Skoya, uh, Skellige has some of the weakest weather counters in terms of hard counters. Like, you have the standard bearer for Nilfgaard, and that's a really strong card. You don't have that for... You, you have the Armor Smith, and the Armor Smith doesn't actually remove the weather. He just heals the damage weather did. Which is not bad, it's just harder to use. Uh, you have the Blood Curling Roar, which is really good with the Priestess of Freya. You just play a Priestess of Freya, replace it, you get 11 point bronze. And then you have a Scorch. Scorch is there for mostly uh, spell Scoia'tael. Because you just wait until the last card to play that, and then they're all dead. Usually. Without further ado, we're going to go into a yeah, game. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, they're putting us up against some of the weaker player, um, weaker types of players, I guess would be a better way to put it. Keep one of them. Don't put the other one down. Weather is annoying, to say the least. She got a Priestess of Freya. She shot another Priestess of Freya. Oh. Well, I don't like playing those cards anyways. Uh. Crates coming for you. Usually I like playing that last. But there's a benefit of playing it now. If he plays his ice guy, I can just double scorch. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Ten point scorch. And I can pass. Get a huge amount of value. You can't, uh, like, if he plays another weather, it's, it's great. <laughs> Any lost like, if I were him, I would just pass, but this is not what uh, human players do these days. So we just pass. 
and we uh, celebrate the fact that um, he either plays two cards to get ahead or he uh, loses. If he loses, it's fine. We can live with that. Now, we want him to uh, do some more shenanigans, because in this deck, we don't really want to. Uh, so we're going to push out one of the shield maidens. That'll help. Okay, and we'll start off by playing the bears. And we'll put... Okay. And we'll use this as an opportunity which will prevent the uh, bear from dying. Resistance is futile. Okay. I promise you a quick death. We don't mind. The longer this takes, the better. I'll do what I can. For Skelliger's glory! Just one more okay. We don't have a way to unlock it if something were to happen. Okay. Da -da -da -da. I forgot my unlocking spray. Okay. We serve her who is virgin, mother, and crone. Morhawk Devarie! Death holds no surprises. The other option was to play the Shield Maidens. But I think the Shield Maidens will be better in the last round. I could get rid of the, uh, gonna push that guy out. It's fine. Okay. We pass. We don't care. Uh, we used uh, at least one Priestess of Freya, right? No, we have only used, well, they're doomed, so it's hard to tell. So, we got some value out of our Olgirt. He's. Death holds no surprises. Okay. Push out the longboat ship. It's better than nothing, I guess. eat you. I don't mind the... Okay. Okay. 
Do you have more fighting frost? Okay. More hog devarier. <sighs> Give them no rest, no reprieve. Our shields are our ramparts. Okay, beat that weather. He's smart, he doesn't... He doesn't move the, uh... Guy. He has to move something else. So he's kind of forced. Okay, and we just pass. We don't have to show off that we have another unit in our hand. That benefits from all this shenanigan- all these shenanigans. <laughs> And we got 26 points. We lost a lot of points trying to get better with this deck. There's a lot of ways you can mess up. This is not... I think this... I think Skellige is harder to play right now because they rely... Let's go. Uncrate! Oh, it's a... It's a mirror match. For Skellige's glory! glory. In the mirror match, we really absolutely need to have uh, as many locking cards as we can get. And we didn't get them, so we're just going to have to live. So we're going to open up with the Savage Bear. We always open up with the Savage Bear. If we can help it. And then we'll move into the Wild Boar of the Sea. We're going to be a little bit more um, conservative in this matchup than we normally would be. I promise you a quick death. Okay. What is it? A billion barrels of burning pitch. Okay, he's playing a strengthening deck as well, but it's not it's not as annoying to deal with. For Skellige's glory! So what? Should I pound it into a poker? Uh-huh. Uh, well, this is a good opportunity to just play this. I know it doesn't get very much points. But it does weaken him the later round. Just one morsel. We want this round to go on for a while, and we know that that's three points for the scorch, and we're not probably going to get it to hit anything else anytime soon. Give them no rest, no reprieve. Our shields are our ramparts. We don't mind that he's doing this, so we're going to just play this. Over here. I'm in no mood for jests. We want this round to go as long as possible. I know he's already getting four points out of it, but we're getting we're getting more points out of this as we wait. Damn it! Okay. That don't bother me. Priestess of Freya is going to get a lot of value here.
He's gonna start buffing that, which is fine. The longer this match goes on, the better it is kind of for us. Okay. Who wants to taste Skelliger Steel? No, that was unfortunate. Oh, I forgot. This isn't random, so I could have avoided that had I put that unit in a different place. He actually buffed this up for me when he hit all hit my uh, Morph Bark. So what? He misplayed by into putting that there. Uh, I'm going to play these. Our shields are our ramparts. This is actually annoying. Give them no rest, no reprieve. Give them no rest, no reprieve. We're actually giving them something to revive by doing that, which is a mistake. We should probably pass. That was a mistake to play into that. I wasted my uh, major abilities, and I lose card advantage. I lose six points a turn from my, uh... Okay. In this scenario, we want to just pass, I think. Uh... We can, uh, we can win this easier if we play the Savage Bear. <laughs> okay. We serve her who is virgin, mother, and crone. Morhawk de Varye! This will cancel out some of the weather. Yalmar on crates coming for you. Okay. Well, we can pass now. We do want another Priestess of Freya, but we're probably not gonna get it. Have you nothing better to do? Put a, a lot of his uh, chances of winning in this <laughs> this card. Oh man, is he gonna lock it? Yeah, it's probably a smart move for him to do that. But it is going to cost him a card. But God, it is uh, important that he did that. I didn't get the chance to lock unlock anything. Cause I didn't draw in Hide your stench. So he's gonna start off with six additional points. Uh. Okay. Uh, we're going to open with you. Do we I don't want to deal with a uh, savage bear case we get a Priestess of Freya off the uh, first light. Okay. We're going to now play this into Rally. More Hawk de Varye! You. And we won the round. Good! Now, we were, again, considerably ahead of this opponent in rank, but a win's a win, you know? So, that's my second win of the day. Mirror matches are always uh, interesting. Like, that match was completely...